Hey, I'm Doug. Welcome to Backcountry Pilgrim, a channel all about hiking, camping, and backpacking and the gear that goes with it. If you are into that stuff, why don't you subscribe to the channel and then we'll get started. Today I want to talk to you about a piece of gear that I'm very excited about. I've been looking forward to getting this for some time. I've taken it out on a couple of trips now, so I think I have a fairly good handle on whether or not I like it. And I'm happy to say that most of what I thought I was going to like about this piece of gear, I did. There are a couple things that I wasn't 100% happy with, but overall, this is a really great piece. It is a lumbar pack from Mountain Smith. This one is the Tour 2020. Mountain Smith invented the hiking lumbar pack around 40 years ago. And what I like about it is that it rides completely on your hips through the use of a hip belt like you would find on a bigger size backpack. So if you can just picture a small day pack with a fairly robust hip belt and no shoulder straps, that is basically what the tour is. So I'm going to go set this down and give you a tour of the Mountain Smith Tour. The Tour 2020 is a 9 liter pack and it is a lumbar pack which means that it is being retained on your body by a hip belt only. Now you can get these things called strapettes for about 20 bucks that essentially are kind of like suspenders that go up and hold the bag to you. At that point, I'm not really sure why you shouldn't maybe just carry a day pack. Um, but the idea behind this really is to be a hands-free, shoulders-free, back-free carry system. Mountain Smith is not known for ultralight gear and this is no exception. This bag comes in at about 24, 25 ounces. They are not skimping on materials. The zippers on this thing are beefy. Big old giant pull tabs. I mean, you could probably lose a lot of these if you don't want them. But for something that isn't riding on my back, I don't really care that much. Just as far as being a, a tough Mountain Smith bag, the Tour 2020 has definitely earned the anvil. All right, so let's talk about the setup here. On the exterior, from the previous model, they've changed the front up. Instead of having cordage or daisy chain loop, what they give you is this panel that is attached with non-adjustable straps on the bottom and adjustable cordage on the top that also snaps off with a little hook. And this basically makes something of a stuff pocket. So for example, I've got my frog tog jacket here. You know, I could just stuff that in there and lock it down somewhat. Now, I tried hiking with this, and eventually this kind of unraveled a little bit. Now, that was maybe more my fault. I would say this. This is not going to go anywhere, especially if the pack has anything in it. You know, it's going to be bulged out a little bit. I mean, obviously, I wouldn't put anything in here that I was desperately afraid of losing because, unfortunately, there's just no retention along the bottom. I mean, it's not that hard for something to get loose and come out. Personally, I think it would have been great if they would have just put one more center strap on here that was adjustable. That could have made a huge difference for the kinds of things you can carry in this. Removable hooks, let it flop out. It does give you access to the zippered compartment behind it, which I'll show you in a second. It also shows that there is a little mini flat storage compartment on this flap. So this is kind of an unusual thing. I've, I've never seen this in any kind of pack before or backpack that would allow you to put something very long in here and get some good retention. As long as it passes by these bottom straps, there wouldn't really be much danger of it falling out. But you can't get any tighter than this. That's, that's fully constricted. And again, there's just a lot of loose space here. I, I'm, cord is still out for me on this. I did throw a beaner through here. I can toss some keys on there. I was trying to find something to do with these little straps right here. Behind this, you have a pocket that you can reach. This, this is no problem getting to this without taking those off. One thing I love about this pack is this bright yellow interior. It really helps you with these deep pockets to be able to see what is inside there. It's nice and bright. You do have a key clip inside this front pocket. So moving from the front to the top, you've got two carry straps. I will explain this weird thing when I get to the back. The main compartment is a dual zipper. Once again, you have the yellow interior. This back here is actually a very thick neoprene pad with more of the yellow inside. If you're storing a tablet or something, this is nice and soft and it is nice and padded so that whatever else is going in here, not as much impact to that secondary compartment. One other thing to note is that back here, you have external access 
This is labeled as a headphone port, but you could also throw a water bladder in here and actually use this as a hydration pack. Coming around to the front, on the inside of the main compartment, you have a hanging pocket with its own zipper. In a pack this deep, I appreciate being able to keep like keys or your pocket knife or your phone or something like that can just hang above the other stuff. Now on the very back, you have a stuff pocket that goes all the way down. This is a nice big pocket. This is where my trash goes. So this is your lumbar pad. It's pretty thick. I guess that's probably three quarters of an inch or so. And you've got a nice mesh padded hip belt. So this is like something that you would see on a pretty decent day pack. It is pretty floppy. This is not the stiff, heavy duty thing that you would see on like a really big backpack, but it is very cushy for a lumbar pack. Over here, you have a stretch mesh pocket. This could also be good for trash or just sticking something in, um, maybe your phone or something. I kept my phone in here. When the pack is on, this is actually a pretty secure little pocket, but it does not seal up. So you'd wanna be careful if you put anything valuable in there. On the other side, you've got the hip belt pocket. You can actually very easily with one hand get this pocket open and closed. <laughs> Even with a large phone case like I have, it fits in with absolutely no problem. But if you're doing snacks or something like that, you can also easily access them while you're walking because this hip belt pocket actually works. The webbing is one and a half inch, decent buckle, not the most comfortable thing in the world. About a third of the pack is actually up above the hip belt because it's got kind of a high center of gravity. The pack does tend to kind of bounce a little bit. And what I discovered was when the pack was on my back high enough that it wasn't bouncing, the strap was clear up above my belly button. So it felt great on the back, not so great on the front. If I lowered the pack back down to where this hugged my hip bones like a regular pack would, then the back was so low that my walking motion was basically banging the bag around. Wasn't a deal killer, and given the fact that I had no weight on my back or shoulders, a little bit of bounce didn't bother me that much. But I wouldn't be looking to carry, you know, 12, 15, 20 pounds in this thing. You have these compression straps that actually go from the middle of the hip belt up and over the pack, and they end right here in the top corner. Now the idea with these is that they actually come over the side and they just act as a compression strap for the bag. Now this is a little hack I did. I actually took this off and rerouted it through the handle. And what that did for me is it actually made this compression strap into something like a load lifter on a backpack. So you can see that when this thing tightens down and it's on, it's actually pulling the bag in to the center and wrapping it a little tighter. Okay, you might have noticed that inside the uh, stuff pocket here are two female strap ends. What are these doing here? Well, the tour comes with a single over the shoulder strap so that you can carry it kind of like a messenger bag. That is what those clips are for. And if you decide to carry it that way, they have made a compartment for the hip belt to get stuffed into. Okay, the last thing, these side pockets. These things are fantastic. These are basically two thirds mesh and the outer third is still nylon. So if you're going through tree branches or something, it won't snag on the mesh as bad. These can be tightened down with elastic cordage. So they're virtually disappear. But what's nice about these is that even though this is just a lumbar pack, it can hold a pretty gigantic bottle. Now this is the Nalgene Silo. This is a 48 ounce. So if you had a typical Nalgene bottle, you can actually get 32 ounces inside the pocket. If you had something a little bit more reasonable like this Camelback chute, that's gonna fit just fine. You do have bottom straps. So what I did with these is I actually ran my foldable trekking poles through. If you're not storing anything under the pack, of course they can just be used for compression. So there is your tour of the tour. So overall, I am very impressed with this lumbar pack. If you're just out for a quick day hike, it should pretty easily carry everything that you needed to carry in a fairly comfortable manner. 
Now, I've taken it out with about 10 pounds loaded in it, and you could definitely tell it was there. However, you are trading off a little bit of bounce for having absolutely no weight on your shoulders, no weight on your back. The feeling of freedom that you have with this pack is noticeable. So I would say that if you're not carrying too much stuff on a day hike, I think something like the Mountain Smith Tour 2020 might be perfect for you. All right, I hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has, can you give it a like? And again, be sure to subscribe to Backcountry Pilgrim if you are into hiking, camping, and backpacking and the gear that goes with it. Till next time, I'm Doug. Take it easy. Mm -hmm.